Great. Okay. Thank you all for joining me for a 60 minute yoga class. We're going to start with three rounds of sun salutations to warm up our body. And then we will hop into our beloved 26 and two yoga sequence. So for the sun salutes, you're going to come towards the top of your mat with your feet close together. I'm going to stand back and show you in periphery. Stand up nice and tall, relax your shoulders and look straight ahead. Bring your hands together at heart center. And we'll begin with three rounds of Surya Namaskar, a sun salute. As you inhale, lift your arms up overhead, looking up as if you're saluting the sun. Exhale, stomach in, bend your knees, fold forward, hands to floor, relax your head. Inhale, lengthen into a halfway lift, hips over heels, back flat. Exhale, hands to floor, step back into a high plank or tabletop position. On your next exhale, chin forward, look forward, lower down halfway. Inhale, come up into a back bend. You can do up dog with arms straight and thighs off the floor or um, baby cobra with elbows bent and thighs on the floor. Exhale, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up for down dog. Bend one knee, straighten the other, and then lift your heels, press your heels to the floor, hips to the ceiling, push the floor away with you, from you with your hands, drop your head, look for your thighs behind you. If down dog is not speaking to you today, no problem, come onto your knees instead and take a child's pose. Stretch your arms forward as you sink your hips down. So every plank can be a tabletop, every up dog can be a cobra, and every down dog can be a child's pose. On your next inhale, hands to the floor, look forward, step forward, lengthen, halfway lift, hips over heels, back flat. Exhale, bend your knees, fold, relax your head. Inhale, arms with your ears, hands together, root to rise, lift up, looking up overhead. Exhale, hands down at heart center. Two more, inhale, lift your arms up, look up. Exhale, arms with your ears, fold. Inhale, lengthen, weight forward. You can have your hands on your thighs, your shins, or even the floor in front of you. Exhale, hands to the floor, shoulder with distance, step back into your high plank or tabletop. And if that lowering down motion does not work for you, skip the chaturanga, go straight from your plank or tabletop directly into your down dog or child's pose. Otherwise take a vinyasa, lower down halfway. Inhale into your up dog or baby cobra. Exhale into your down dog or child's pose. For down dog, notice if all of the weight is in your wrists. Spread your fingers wide, root down through all 28 knuckles, especially the space between your index finger and thumb, so you're not putting all of your body weight in your wrists. Take an inhale, exhale, look for your thighs behind you. Inhale, look forward, step forward, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms with your ears, lift up, look up. Exhale, hands down at heart center. Last one, inhale, lift your arms up, look up. Exhale, stomach in, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hands to floor, step back, high plank, keep exhaling, lower down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Last one, try to get heels to floor if you're doing down dog. Um, keep your hands shoulder width distance, but you can open your feet a little wider apart to get your heels closer to the floor. Press your heels. Spread your shoulders wide, draw the shoulders down towards the ribs, away from your ears, look for your thighs. Inhale, look forward, step forward, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise, lift up. Exhale, hands down. Wonderful, so hopefully that got your blood moving a little bit. From here, we're gonna hop into 26 and two yoga. Come to the middle of your mat with your feet together, toes, heels touching nicely. Interlock your 10 fingers, cross your thumbs, and glue your knuckles underneath your chin. Rock your weight into your heels. Relax your shoulders down away from your ears. You made it to class. Concentrate, meditate, and begin. Inhale, chin down and arms up. Breathe in through your nose. Lift your elbows up. Suck your stomach in. Fill up your lungs. Exhale, head up. Exhale through your mouth. H-A, sound head back. Arms forward, elbows touch. Good, inhale, chin down. Slowly bring your chin down. Look straight ahead. Lift your elbows all the way up. Breathe deep, full lungs. Exhale, head up slowly. Push your head back. Look way, way, way back for the wall behind you. Arms forward, elbows touch away from your body. Inhale, head down. Use your chin to push your knuckles down. Palms face the floor. Forearms frame the face. Exhale, head up. Use your knuckles to push your head back. Squeeze your palms together. Wrists together. Forearms, elbows touch. Inhale, head down. Keep the weight in your heels. Thighs contracted, glutes tight, stomach in. 
Exhale, head up, weight stays in your heels, hips a little forward, abdomen tight, arms forward, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, last breath in the first set, make your spine a little longer, elbows a little higher, lungs a little fuller, suck your stomach in, breathe deep, full lungs. Exhale, head up, take your time, eyes open, hips forward, legs lock, stomach in, keep exhaling, push, squeeze, elbows touch. Good, change, arms down, I'm gonna show you second set from the side. Keep your feet together, interlock your 10 fingers, cross your thumbs, glue your knuckles under your chin. Squeeze your thighs, squeeze your butt, grow taller out of the base of your spine and begin, inhale, chin down and arms up, breathe in through your nose, lift your elbows up, suck your stomach in, fill up your lungs. Exhale, head up, exhale through your mouth like you're fogging up a mirror on the ceiling. Look back, stretch your arms forward, elbows touch away from your body. Inhale, slowly bring your chin down and your elbows up. Look straight ahead, breathe deep, take in more air, full lungs. Exhale, head up, slowly push your head back. Keep your shoulders down, elbows up, triceps parallel to the floor. Inhale, head down. So weight stays in the heels, stomach in the whole time. Depression to abdominal wall, contraction to abdominal muscles. Exhale, as you exhale, keep the abdomen engaged, weight in the heels, thighs tight, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, just your neck and arms are moving. Try to keep the shoulders down, chest up, spine straight from the side. Exhale, head up. So just your head drops back, no backward bending, keep shoulders over hips, hips over heels, weight in the heels. Inhale, head down, last breath. Second set, deepest breath of your life. When your lungs are totally full, surprise yourself. Take in one more sip of air. Exhale, head up. Take your time, let everything go through the exhale breath. Any worries, any cares, let them go. Be here now, elbows touch. Good, change, arms down. We continue, half moon with hands to feet pose, feet together. Inhale your arms over your head, palms together. Interlock your fingers, release your index fingers, cross your thumbs, stretch up, and bend right and left, right and left. Every time you pass through the middle, reach up a little taller, like you're trying to touch the ceiling. Okay, when you can't stretch anymore, come to stop in the middle. Bring the weight into your heels, hips forward, arms back. Imagine you're leaning against a wall behind you. Inhale, breathing, stretch up, out of your waist, try to touch the ceiling. Exhale, breathing, absolutely straight line, slowly bend your body to the right. Without bending your elbows and knees, continuously push your hips to the left beyond your flexibility. You're trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling in the left side of your body, all over, inside out, bones to skin, fingers to toes. Keep the weight in your heels, hips a little more forward, upper body back, touch your biceps to your ears. Push your left hip a little forward, two hips in line. Now bring your right shoulder forward, open your chest like a flower, petal blooming, come down, push, push, push. Change, inhale to come up, hips forward, arms back, stretch up and slowly bend to the left as you press your hips to the right. Keep the weight in your heels. Contract your quadricep muscles, squeeze your gluteal muscles, lock your legs. Push your hips a little forward so the hips and pelvis open to the front of your mat. Suck your stomach in, upper body back a little bit. Keep your chin and chest lifted and shoulders down. It's a very proud posture and you have a lot to be proud of for practicing yoga today. As you inhale, lengthen your arms. As you exhale, get a little deeper. Come down, push, push. Push, change, inhale to come up. First back bend of the day. I'll show you from the side. This is the only posture I can't show and tell at the same time. Take a deep breath, full lungs, keep your eyes open. Relax your head all the way back as far as it goes. Maybe give your head a gentle shake. Look for the floor behind you. Squeeze your butt, lift your chest and bring your arms back with your ears. Try to touch the wall behind you. So whole spine back bending, whole front of the body stretching, keep the weight in your heels, push stomach, thighs, hips forward, and then bring your arms back, look back, fall back, way back, go back, more back, good, change, inhale to come up, stretch up, lengthen, exhale, bend your knees, fold, go down with a flat back, hands to floor, relax your head, go for a walk, move your hips, shake your head, this is a U-turn from back bending to forward folding, at the beginning of class, your spine might not be quite warmed up yet, move your hips to get your lower back, Nice, relaxed, comfortable, easy, flexible. Padasasana, hands to feet pose, bend your knees halfway. You can grab the backs of your calves, your Achilles, or your heels from underneath. Step on all 10 fingers. Pull on your heels, roll your weight into your toes, and lift your hips up. Stretch your upper body down from the lower spine to the floor. Pulling is the object of stretching. You're trying
trying to create a tremendous stretch and feeling on the back of your body, all over, inside out, bones to skin, fingers to toes with a smiling, happy face. Pull on your heels, roll your weight into your toes, lift your hips up, stretch your spine down. Good, change, come up, arms of yours. Try to come up with a flat back so you're hinging at your hips. It's safer than uncurling. Good, arms down. And you stand a little taller. That's the whole goal, just to stand taller. Second set, feet together. Inhale, arms overhead, palms together. Interlock fingers, release index fingers, cross thumbs. Nice, tight grip. Stretch up out of your waist and slowly drop to the right as you press your hips to the left. So in yoga, it's more about form than it is about depth. Better to stay light and lifted and keep your arms with your ears than come down in a way that you're collapsing, right? Use your right hand to pull your left hand to the top right corner of the room, push your left heel into the floor, push your right heel into the floor, keep your chin lifted, arms with your ears, come down, push and push and push. Change, inhale to come up, hips forward, arms back, stretch up and slowly drop to the left as you press your hips to the right. So if you're new, if you're dealing with an illness or an injury, anytime you hear a cue to go deeper into the posture, like come down, push, doesn't have to apply to you. You can stay light, you can stay lifted, relax your jaw and breathe through your nose. Final adjustments, right hip forward, two hips in line. Left shoulder forward, open your chest like a flower petal blooming. Come down, push and push and push. Change, inhale to come up. Second heart opener, deep breath, full lungs. Keep your eyes open, relax your head back, squeeze your butt, lift your chest and bring your arms back with your ears like you're tracing your fingers along the ceiling. So if your knees are bending, come up a little bit, contract your quadricep muscles, squeeze your butt, push your hips forward and then bring your arms back. Look back, fall back, way back, go back, more back, good. Change, inhale to come up, stretch out. Exhale, bend your knees, go down, knees together, feet together, hands to floor, drop your head, go for another walk, move your hips, shake your head. Second set, here we go, bend your knees, you can grab the backs of your legs or your heels from behind. If you're looking at your uh, toes, drop your head, look for the wall behind you instead. Pull on your heels, roll forward and lift your hips up. Stomach to thighs, chest to knees, let your head go, face to the shins, below the knees, no room for light and air between the upper and lower body. Pull on your heels, roll your weight into your toes, lift your hips up, push your knees back, try to lock your legs. Good, change, come on up, arms with the ears, knees can bend, very nice, arms down. And you let that one go. Awkward Ukatasana, step your right foot to the right, about six inches, hip width distance, not too big of a step. Insides of your feet parallel like 11s. Arms up, parallel to the floor, tricep muscles tight, fingertips active, stomach in, bend your knees, sit back and down into a chair. Feet flat position, spine straight to begin with, 100% of your body weight in your heels. Sit down halfway only, hips into a chair. Notice if your knees are coming in or out, keep six inches between toes, heels, knees and hands, drop your shoulders, lift your chin, lift your chin up, chest up, lean back, fall back, way back, good, change. Inhale to come up, keep your arms there, push your hips a little forward, spread your toes wide. Now come up all the way on your tiptoes like a ballerina. So we're starting to play with balance. Stretch up first, bend your knees, sit down. Try to press your whole back against an imaginary wall behind you. Heels a little higher, knees a little higher, sit down into a chair, but don't sit below a chair. Change, inhale to come up. Last part, keep your arms there. Squeeze your knees together like you've got a winning lottery ticket in between your knees. Don't drop the ticket. Let your, let your heels come a little off the floor and slowly sit down. Take your time. Stop whenever you want or keep sitting down. Squeeze your knees together and forward. Lift your chest. Relax your shoulders and change. Slowly come up. Knees together. Knees together. Good. Heels down. Right foot back. Arms down. Second set, step your right foot to the right, same footprint, insides of your feet parallel. I'll show you from the side, arms up, parallel to the floor, triceps tight, stomach in, bend your knees, sit back and down. So the more you fold forward and the more you stick your butt out, the easier it is to sit down, thighs parallel to the floor. From here, start to lift up, keep the weight in your heels, shoulders back and down, jaw relaxed, stomach in, chin up, chest up, change, inhale to come up, keep your arms there, Push your hips a little forward, spread your toes wide, concentrate, meditate, don't even blink your eyes, lift up all the way, heels a little higher, stretch up, bend your knees, sit down. Second part's a little harder, rather than folding forward and sticking your butt out, you want to push your hips forward and lean back, lift the heels, lift the knees, sit down, change, inhale to come up, 
the last part, squeeze knees together, let your heels come a little off the floor, and slowly sit down like you're sliding your back down a wet marble wall. Stop when there's a half inch gap between your hips and your heels, so you're not resting, right? You want to lift up the whole time. Abdomen in, face soft, fingertips active, change, slowly come up, knees together, good, heels down, right foot back, arms down. Eagle pose, Garasana, look at your arms, identify which arm is right, which arm is left, don't mix them up, I'm not hearing you. Ready? Inhale your arms over your head. Exhale, swing your right arm under your left arm, right arm under left arm. Cross first to the elbows. Again, if you can at the wrists, palms together, thumbs towards your face. You can also interlock fingers or grab shoulders. Pull your elbows down, bend your knees, sit down into a chair, stay down there and bring your right leg over your left leg, right leg over left leg, cross twist. And eventually wrap your right foot behind your left calf muscle. If your foot is coming out, sit down more. And if you're losing your balance, arch your upper body back. Bring your knees to the right, upper body to the left, twist like ropes, sit down more, lean your upper body back at the end. Good, change feet together, arms over your head, left side. Swing your left arm, zoom, under your right arm, left under right, hands together, thumbs towards your face, pinkies away from your face. Pull your elbows down, bend your knees, sit down, Try to keep your hips down low and bring left leg over right leg, left over right, cross twist, and eventually wrap your left foot. On this side, bring your knees to the left and upper body to the right. You want wrists over elbows, elbows over knees, knees over ankles, and weight back in your heel. Sit down a little bit lower and lean your upper body back. Good, change feet together, arms over your head, second set, right arm, under left arm, palms together, thumbs towards your nose. Pull elbows down, sit down first, one step at a time, and bring right leg over left leg. You can hamstring over quadricep, cross twist, and breathe. Push your left hip a little forward so your hips and knees point to the front of your mat. Right shoulder a little forward, shoulders over hips. Pull elbows down, one day fingers go below the nose. Bend your knees, stick your butt out a little bit, sit down more, and lean your upper body back at the end. Good, change. Feet together, arms over your head. Last one, I'm gonna show you from the side. Bring left arm, zoom, under right arm. Try to get thumbs close to your face. Pull elbows down, sit down, stay down there, and bring left leg over right leg. Eventually, you're gonna wrap the left foot. So you'll see I'm folding forward to sit down. If your foot is coming out, sit down more. If you're losing your balance, arch your upper body back. Bring your knees to the left. Upper body to the right, twist like ropes, sit down and lean back. Change, feet together, arms over your head, arms down, party time. You can grab a sip of water if you want. Cheers friends, lovely to be here with all of you. And welcome, especially to Ming. I know Lancy said you were coming, so I'm glad you're here. If it's your first time doing this style of yoga, just have fun. Don't feel like you have to understand everything at once. Just have fun. Come back next time. Keep coming back. Standing head to knee, Dande Mana, Johnny Shrasana. For the next three postures, we're going to balance on one leg. If you fall out, just hop back in. Standing head to knee. Shift your weight to your left leg. Lock your left leg. Lift your right leg up. Point your toes. Flex your toes. Keep your toes flexed back. Stomach in. Option to stay here. You're working on your balance and your strength. When you're ready, you're going to round down and eventually pick up your right foot. All 10 fingers interlocked. Standing legs should be solid, concrete, one piece, lamp post, unbroken. You have no knee. If you've been coming for a while and you know your left leg is locked, no bend, no wobble. Inhale, breathing slowly, gently. Lift your right leg up. Stretch it forward until your right leg is exactly parallel to the floor. No higher, no lower. Standing leg locked. If both legs lock, bend your elbows down. Touch elbows to calf muscles. One day elbows go below the calf muscles. Lock your knee. Lock your knee lock your knee, change, slowly reverse out. Shift your weight to your right leg, contract inner thigh as well as outer thigh. Lift your left thigh up, point your toes, flex your toes, keep your toes flexing back. It's a good way to stretch your Achilles and calf. As you're ready, stomach in, round down, and eventually pick up your left foot. You are welcome to start nice and lifted with your knee high into your chest. You don't have to round down as much. When you're ready, you're gonna lift your left leg up. And it's a real kick. Slowly over time, you're going to kick 
so much forward that both legs lock and from the side legs make an L like Linda. If both legs lock, puff up your chest, stomach in, and then bend elbows down. Notice if your elbows are going out to the side, elbows down, shoulders down. Touch elbows to calf muscles, bring your chest down more. One day elbows go below the calf muscles. Change. Take your time as you come out step by step. You can put your hands on your back, do a little back bend, or an even. Huh. Second set, shift your right to your left leg, squeeze your left thigh, lift your right leg up, flex your toes back, engage your abdominal wall. Round down and pick up your right foot. All 10 fingers interlocked. Concentrate, meditate. Don't forget to have fun. Here we go. Lift your right leg up. If both legs lock, bend elbows down. If elbows go below calf muscles, slowly tuck your chin to your chest, put your forehead on your knee, hold where you are for three, two, one. Take your time as you reverse out, one day step by step, just the way you went in. Good. Last one, shift your weight to your right leg, squeeze your right thigh, lift your left leg up, flex your toes back, round down, pick up your left foot, all 10 fingers that are locked, Contract your inner thigh as well as your outer thigh. Lift your right kneecap up, squeeze your right butt cheek, and when you're ready, lift your left leg up. If both legs lock, bend elbows down. If elbows go below calf muscles, slowly tuck your chin to your chest. Place your forehead on your knee, lock your knee, lock your knee, lock your knee. Take your time as you reverse out. Good for you. Okay, that was a forward curl. Next, we do a back bend. If you're new to this style of yoga, listen extra careful in the next 30 seconds because the next posture we do, the grip is a little confusing. Bring your right hand up, elbow touches the body, palm faces the ceiling. Bring your hand out to the right and give yourself a high five for practicing yoga today. Woo. Okay, reach back without turning or twisting your wrist. So your palm is still facing up. Reach back and pick up the inside of your right foot at the ankle bone. Bring your left arm up, right hip forward, knees together. Lock your left leg, point your right toes, take a breath, stretch up, and slowly charge your body forward. Simultaneously, kick your right leg back and up. Slowly bring the body down and the leg up. See the foot come directly over the top of your head, so from the side, two heels in line. Kick back and up, in other words, two shoulders in line. Touch your chin to your shoulder, shoulder blade scapula coming out of the body, kicking. Stretching equal simultaneous 50-50. The harder you kick, you can balance forever. Kick really hard, body down more, leg up more. Kick, kick, kick. Good, change, slowly kick yourself up. Let me show you the other side from the side. Bring your left hand up and out to the left. So again, palm is facing up. Reach back without turning or twisting your wrist. Pick up the inside of your left foot at the ankle. If this grip is confusing, pick up the outside of your foot. And eventually, you're just going to walk your hand around and grab from the inside. Bring your right arm up, left hip forward, knees together. Lift your chin, stretch up, and slowly kick into your hand. When you can't kick anymore, charge your body forward. Slowly bring the body down and the leg up. I'm running into my bookcase. Slowly bring the body down and the leg up. See the foot come directly over the top of your head. From the side, two heels in line. Kick back and up two shoulders in line, eventually chin and shoulder touch. Keep the chest pressing forward, fingertips active, belly relaxed. Body down to parallel, body down more, leg up more, kick, kick, kick. Good, change slowly, kick yourself up. Second set, bring your right hand up, out to the right, reach back, pick up the inside of your right foot, left arm up, right hip forward, knees together. So lift your left kneecap, Point your right toes, stretch up, and slowly kick, stretch, and breathe. See how high you can kick before you come down. So keep the chin and chest lifted. It is a deep backward bend. Right hip down a little bit, left hip back, left shoulder forward, right shoulder back. Belly down more, chest up more. Try to touch your big toe to the ceiling. Kick, kick, kick. Good. Change. Slowly come up. Last one, left hand up, out to the left, reach back, pick up the inside of your left foot. Right arm up, knees together, squeeze your right thigh, point your left toes, stretch up, and slowly kick, stretch, and breathe. Relax your face, 
Kick into your hand, stretch forward, breathe. Slowly body down. On this side, left hip down, right hip back, right shoulder forward, left shoulder back. Body down to parallel, keep the chin and chest lifted. Kick, kick, kick. Good, change, kick yourself up. Come to the back of your mat, Tula Dandasana, balancing stick. Feet together, arms overhead, palms together. Interlock fingers, release index fingers, cross thumbs and lean back. Step your right foot forward, lock both legs, point your left toes, stretch up and tilt like a seesaw. Arms, body, head, legs, everything parallel to the floor from the side. Body makes a T like Tom, not a broken umbrella. Stretch, 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 change. Left foot down. Whew. Right foot back, lean back, step your left foot forward, lock both legs, stretch up, point your right toes and tilt. Imagine you're trying to turn on a light switch with your right big toe. So as your chest comes down, you got to lift your right leg up. Chest down, chin forward, right heel up, stretch, change. Right foot down, left foot back, arms down. Remember, it's always form before depth. Second set I'll show you from the side, arms up, palms together, Interlock fingers, release index fingers, cross thumbs, nice tight grip. Lean back, step your right foot forward, lock both legs, stretch up and tilt. So it's better to come down halfway with a flat back than to come down all the way that you're a broken umbrella, right? Try to be like a T like Tom instead. Slowly over time, chest comes down, leg comes up, stretch, 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 change. Left foot down, right foot back, here we go. Step your left foot forward, lock both legs, stretch up and tilt. So right hip down, spiral your inner right thigh up, right big toe to the ceiling, right pinky toe to the floor, chest down more, chin forward more, heel up more, stretch, change. Right foot down, left foot back, arms down. Enough of that. You are welcome to come to the top of your mat and face the right side of your mat for the next three postures. We will be standing on two legs, right? Two separate feet so you can keep both of your feet on your mat. I will continue to face you. Standing, separate leg stretching, Dande Amana Bikatha Pada, Hashimotanasana. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, step your right foot to the right, big step. Arms down parallel to the floor. Toes in, heels out, chest up, and swan dive forward. This is a flat back posture. Try to go down like there's a board strapped to your back. Grab your heels from behind, roll forward, and touch your forehead to the floor. Now, if you have a long torso and you're flexible, that might be easy, but for a lot of folks, not so easy, right? You can take a bigger step here. You can grab the outsides of your feet to pull. You can also start with your hands on the floor in front of you. Everybody roll forward, lift your hips up, push your knees back, pull and stretch. Try to touch your forehead to the floor in between your feet. Good, change, slowly come up. Keep your feet wide apart. We're gonna float a triangle pose. Push your hips a little forward at the top and lean your upper body back. Turn your right foot out, maybe take a bigger step, left toes in a little bit. Triangle, trikonasana, bend your right leg and lunge. In this version of, version of triangle, try to bend your right knee as deep as you can. So one day, right thigh bicep is parallel to the floor. Push your hips forward, lean back, and move your arms like a windmill. Right elbow in front of the knee, left arm up to the ceiling. Look up towards the ceiling, touch your chin to your shoulder, profile of your face visible to the front of your mat. Push your left hip forward and down. Push your right knee back with the help of your elbow and lift your right side body off of your right thigh. Turn, twist, lock your left leg, keep your left foot flat on the floor. Change, rotate your arms, straighten your right leg, right toes in, left toes out, other side. Make sure your heels are in line, not crisscross. Okay, bend your left leg and lunge. And at first, maybe the thigh isn't parallel to the floor, right? That's okay. Sit as low as you can, keep your hips where they are, and just move your arms. So the goal here is to get a nice side stretch on the right side body. Maybe at first, just the wrist or forearm in front of the knee, so you have a long diagonal line. Notice if you're collapsing down so the um, right side body is rounding, try to lift it up instead. Look up and stretch up. When you're ready to sit down more, try taking a slightly bigger step. Push your right hip forward, push your right hip down, and then bend your left knee, sit down, turn, twist, lock your right leg, right foot, flat on the floor. Change, rotate your arms, straighten your left leg, turn your left toes in, keep your feet apart, arms up, palms together, only cross your thumbs, standing separate leg, head to knee, Dandayamana, Vikaptapada, Janusharasana. 
Pivot on your heels to one side of your mat. Turn your back, left toes in, and then you can push your left hip forward one, two, three, four, five times. Two hips in line, two heels in line. Backside foot makes a 45 degree angle. Stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest, and go down. So this is a rounded spine posture. It's one to be cautious of if you have a history of slip discs or just like a history of back pain. Anytime we round the spine, that can put a lot of pressure on the vertebrae. So take your time. Eventually, you're going to touch your forehead and knee together. To touch knee and head together or to bring them closer together, you can bend your front leg. You can take a bigger step and you can tuck your chin into your chest. So one day, forehead and knee touch. Push your forehead into your knee, lock both legs, walk your hands back together, thumbs crossed, arms with ears, change. Slowly come up, hands together, biceps with your ears, head up, last. Good, other side. Pivot on your heels to the other side of your mat. Uncross your heels so you want three to four feet between your feet, at least 36 inches. Turn your back, right toes in, and then you can push your right hip forward until your hips are in line. Stretch up. Tuck your chin to your chest and go down slowly with control. So there's some things that we show our proficiency in by going fast, like solving a Rubik's cube. In yoga, we show our proficiency by going slow. The slower you go, the more strength you're using, the more balance you're using rather than momentum. Chin to chest, round your spine, touch your forehead and knee together, front side compression, throat choked, Jaw relaxed, eyes open, stomach in, breathing normal. Push your forehead into your knee first. Lock both legs, hands together. Change, slowly uncurl. Vertebra by vertebra, disc by disc, chin to chest, head up, last. Good. Pivot on your heels, right foot back, arms down. Second set stretching, arms overhead, Paschimottanasana. Step your right foot to the right, big step. Toes in, I'm going to show you. From the side, heels out, lock your legs, lift your chest, and swan dive forward, stick your butt up all the way down. Grab your heels from behind. So rather than bending your knees and rounding your spine, try to lengthen your legs and stretch your spine. Roll forward, find your edge. You want hips over heels. Start to pull stomach through thighs, chest through knees, let your head touch the floor in between your feet. Lift your kneecaps, lock your legs. Good. Change. Slowly come up. Take your time. Second set triangle. Push your hips forward. Lean back and turn your right foot out. Maybe left toes in a little bit. Bend your right leg and lunge. So again, to sit down, you can take a bigger step and you can also push your left hip forward. Sit down as low as you can. Stay down there and move your arms. Elbow in front of the knee. Hover your fingers just between your big and second toe. Don't touch the floor. Don't push any weight on the floor. Look up and stretch up. Reach your left arm up. Stretch your right arm down. Drop your left thigh down. Lift your left shoulder up. Turn. Twist. Lock your left leg. Keep your left foot flat on the floor. Change. Rotate your arms. Straighten your right leg. Right toes in. Other side. Left toes out. Two heels in line. Bend your left leg. Lunge. Sit as low as you can. Left leg makes an upside down L like Linda. Sit down one more inch. Stay down there and move your arms. Elbow in front of the knee. Now notice if your right toes are turning out or your ankle or knee are rolling in. Keep all five of your right toes on the floor. If your feet are sliding apart, try to squeeze your heels back together. Feet stay in place, but that's the inner thigh strength you want to engage. Look up, stretch up, turn, twist, block your right leg. Keep your right foot flat on the floor. Change. Move your arms, straighten your leg. Left toes in, arms up, palms together. Only cross your thumbs. Second set, head to knee, Johnny Sharasana. Pivot on your heels, turn back toes in, push your hips forward. Maybe peel your right rib cage back just a little bit. Stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest and go down. Arms with your ears. One day arms behind your ears. So chin really to chest. Bend your front leg if you need to. I do. Touch your knee and head together. Stretch all 10 fingers behind your big and second toe. Bring maximum weight to your front foot. Right hip up. Left hip forward. Two hips in line. Throat choked. Eyes open. Breathing normal. Push your forehead into your knee. Lock both legs. Hands together. Change. One day arms stay behind the ears the whole time. 
So it's chin to chest, head eventually pushes the arms up. Good, change, pivot on your heels to the other side of the room, uncross your heels. I'm gonna show you from the side, pardon me, from the front, <laughs> stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest, go down. So one day, arms behind the ears, so it's the neck, shoulder movement to get to chin to chest, bend your front leg if you need to, touch knee and head together. For balance, bring your weight into your front foot. Left hip up, right hip forward. Try to get your hips in line so both sides of your back round equally the same, stomach in. Push your forehead into your knee, lock both legs, hands together, change. So one day, arms behind the ears, head pushes the arms up, head up, last. Good, pivot on your heels, right foot back, arms, down. Come to the middle of your mat for the hip opening postures. We start with tree pose, Tadasana. Lock your left leg and lift your right leg up. Hold onto your foot from underneath the foot with one or both hands. In this version of tree, you want to touch your heel to your costume, your groin, so the sole of your foot is flat to the ceiling. You could give your foot a high five. Whee! Okay, bring your right hand up to the center of your chest. And if you can balance left hand up. So this is tree pose. Option to stay right here or flow to another fun posture called toe stand. Pull your abdomen in, keep your standing leg straight and start to fold forward. At first, just dangling forward, eventually hands to floor. Walk your hands forward and lean forward, shoulders over wrists. Lift your left heel, bend your knee and sit down. As you sit down, you want the weight in your arms, not your knee. Walk your hands back to either sides of your hips. This is called toe stand because we're standing on our toes, right? Left hand up, right hand up, elbows down, spine straight, maybe become a half inch off your heel. Whenever you're ready, change hands to floor. Lift your hips up to straighten your standing leg. You're welcome to come up on two feet or once your leg is straight, push your hips forward to reverse out. Good, change right leg down. I'm gonna show you the other side from the side. Lock your right leg and lift your left leg up. Heel to costume, slowly, gently, let your left knee drop. So one day from the side, two knees in line, right? Never forcing the knees. Notice if your butt is sticking out a lot, push your hips forward. Try to temporarily eliminate any curvature in your spine. So it's a hip opening posture because rather than leaning forward, we're really pushing the hips forward. You can bring your left hand up. And if you can balance right hand up, but if you're like me and your foot falls, Hold on to your foot. Option to stay here or float a toe stand. It helps to pick an unmoving target on the floor to look at. That'll help with balance as well as focus. Fold forward, keep your standing leg straight. Once your hands touch the floor, you can walk your hands forward and really lean forward like you're gonna do a handstand. Lift your right heel first, keep leaning forward, bend your knee sit, and you can even bring your knees to touch the floor. From here, walk your hands back to either sides of your hips, left hand up, Right hand up, elbows down, spine straight, come a half inch off your heel. Good. When you're ready, hands to floor. You can come up on two feet or to reverse out. Straighten your standing leg first and then push your hips forward. Good. Change. Left leg down, honor yourself, give yourself high five, fist bump, turn around, savasana, head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat. I'm going to adjust our camera angle ever so slightly. Wonderful. Okay. We're on the floor for the rest of class. Great. Head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat, bring your heels together, toes fall open, arms down, palms face the ceiling. Eyes open, mouth closed, breathing, normal, slow inhale, even slower exhale. Pavana Muktasana Winter Moving Pose. Bend your right leg up, interlock your 10 fingers, grab your right chin just below the knee, nice tight white knuckle grip. Pull your knee out to the right, down towards your shoulder, completely avoid your rib cage. Change, right leg down, bend your left leg up, interlock your 10 fingers just below the left shin. Pull your knee out and down towards your shoulder. Keep your right leg on the floor. Change, left leg down, bend both legs up. Grab your elbows, each other. Give yourself a big hug for coming to class today. Yes, good for you. Squeeze your knees together and down. Keep your head on the floor without lifting your head. Look down the center line of your body for a diamond shape between your knees and your arms and hold still. Eventually or in the future when the bone joint skeletal system has improved, the whole spine from coccyx to the neck will be flat on the floor. 
change. Arms down, eyes open. Second set, bend your right leg up, interlock your 10 fingers, and nice tight grip, pull your knee out and down. Try to keep your left leg on the floor, left shoulder on the floor, left hip on the floor. Pull, squeeze, release. Right leg down, left leg up, pull your knee out and down. Push the pads of your fingers into the backs of your hands. This posture is good for grip strength and it's good for digestion. You're putting pressure on your lower abdomen. Change, left leg down, both legs up, grab your elbows each other. It's really good for giving yourself hugs, right? It's good for digestion and it's a nice way to slowly lengthen your back to the floor. So head on the floor, tuck your chin in a little bit, neck on the floor, tuck your chest up a little bit, shoulders on the floor, push your shins into your forearms, hips on the floor, change, arms down, eyes open. Next we do a straight leg sit up. If you have any concerns about your back, a history of slip discs, roll off to the side, skip the sit up, meet us on your stomach. Otherwise, legs together, arms over your head, only cross your thumbs. Arms with your ears, heels on the floor. Tuck your chin to your chest and sit up. <laughs> Elbows to floor, forehead to knees. Good, okay, turn, lie on your stomach for the spine strengthening series, starting with Cobra, Bhujangasana, good for your lower lumbar spine. Place your hands flat on the floor, just below your shoulders, so your elbows point up to the ceiling. Bring your feet together like a cobra's tail, toes and heels touch. Lock your legs, look up and lift. Stretch your upper body off the floor. Beautiful, use 100% spine strength. Come up halfway only, just your belly button on the floor, the rest of your chest is in the air. Elbows stay bent, they make an L, a 90 degree angle like a rectangle. Don't forget about your cobra's tail, keep your feet together, lock your legs, push your feet down, hips down, press your hands down, look up, chin up, chest up, stretch up, breathe up. Good, change slowly with control, lower down. Look to your right, left ear on your mat, arms down, palms face the ceiling, toes together, heels fall open. Second set, chin forward, hands on the floor, just below the shoulders, feet together, lock your legs, look up and lift. So imagine your lower body is like a zipper. You wanna zip it up, feet together, knees together, toes, heels touch. Lock your legs, squeeze your butt, push your hands down a little bit, drop your shoulders down a lot, open through your chest as you strengthen your spine. Change, lower down, look to the left, right here on your mat. If looking left and right, um, bothers or aggravates your neck and shoulder, you can bend one or both arms up so your hands are close to your face. That will take some stress away from the neck and shoulder, eventually arms down. Locus Shalabhasana, bring your chin forward, arm straight position, rotate your arms the other way. So palms face the floor, knuckles face the ceiling, thumbs outside, fingers inside. From here, you're gonna walk your hands underneath you. So one day arms invisible under the torso, doesn't have to be today or tomorrow. One day pinky fingers touch, spread your fingers wide. Lock your right leg, point your right toes, lift your right leg up to a 45 degree angle, good. Half of 90, see the foot come directly over the top of your head. Shoulders down, jaw relaxed, lock your right leg. Change, slowly right leg down. Relax your right leg, lock your left leg, point your left toes and lift your left leg up. Imagine you're drawing the line up the back wall. Use your big toe, press the shoulders down, triceps tight, you can do it. Lock your left leg, good, change. Slowly left leg down. Third part, tuck your chin and mouth down. Bring your arms a little closer underneath you, spread your fingers wide, mouth down, shoulders down, triceps tight, squeeze your butt, lock your legs, point your toes, and lift both legs up, come up. Everybody come up, you can do it, strike a little harder. Don't give up, roll forward. Press your hips and forearms together for leverage, shoulders down, knees together, lift your thighs up. Good, change, lower down, arms out, look to the right and take a breath. Second set, chin forward, arms straight, rotate your arms, palms face the floor, bring your arms underneath you, creating a little bit of a tourniquet effect on the arms. Lock your right leg, point your right toes and lift your right leg up. So with the arms straight and eventually underneath you, you're stretching out all the tendons and ligaments, creating a little bit of a tourniquet effect on your arms as you increase your heart rate. Change, right leg down, relax right leg, lock your left leg, point your left toes and lift your left leg up. Keep your triceps tight, squeeze your left butt cheek, lock your left leg, stretch the big toe to the back wall, lift your thigh up, change, left leg down, grand finale, tuck your chin and mouth down, bring your arms a little closer, micro bend your elbows, spread your shoulders wide, Mouth down, lock your legs, point your toes, and lift both legs up. So notice if all the weight is in your wrists, 
root down through all 28 knuckles, just like down dog, roll forward, shoulders down, mouth down, lock your legs, lift your thighs, change, lower down, arms out. You release the tourniquet effect on the arms, look to the left and take a breath. Lots of fresh blood rushes through the knuckles, wrists, elbows, and shoulders. Full locus, Pranish Alavasana, chin forward, arms out to the side, feet together, toes, heels touch, lock your legs, point your toes, look up and lift. Arms, body, head, legs, everything lifts off the floor, so good. 747, taking off, just your hip bones on the floor, rest your bodies in the air, look up to the ceiling, where your eyes go, body nose to follow, knees together, feet together, thighs up, chin up, chest up, look up, come up a little higher at the end. Good, change slowly, lower down, tuck in your wings, look to the right and take a breath. Second set, chin forward, arms out to the side, feet together, lock your legs, point your toes, look up and lift. So this posture, when we lift the legs and the chest off the floor at the same time, it is so good for strengthening your back muscles. It's good for healing any back pain. Keep your feet together, thighs up, chin up, chest up, look up, come up a little higher at the end. Good, change slowly, lower down, tuck in your wings, look to the left, take a breath. Dhanurasana floor bow, chin forward, bend your legs, grab your feet from the outside two inches below the toes. If you can't grab both feet, first set, grab your right foot, left arm out in front, second set, switch it up. Otherwise, both feet, squeeze your butt, point your toes, look up towards the ceiling, and start to kick into your hands. Good, continuously keep kicking without stopping, without intermission, it's the kick that drives the posture. Roll forward once, trees between your ribs and hips, hold still. Do little sips of air in and out through your nose. Bring your knees in, feet out, wrists straight. Look up to the ceiling, kick, kick, kick. Good, change, slowly lower down. Look to your right. Second set, chin forward, bend your legs, grab your feet, or the opposite foot, opposite arm. Point your toes, squeeze your buns, look up and kick into your hands. This is a great back bend. We are balancing between our lower ribs and the hips. It's good for digestion. So really good chest and shoulder opener. Squeeze inner thighs together. You're strengthening your hamstrings, your glutes. Point your toes, look up, kick, kick, kick. Good, change, lower down, look to the left and let that one go. Take a nice long breath. Letting everything go through the exhale breath. Good, bring your chin forward, hands to the floor, push up. Come to the top of your mat, fixed firm, soup to Vajrasana. I'm gonna show you first step from the side. Start in tabletop, open your knees, open your feet. And from here, slowly walk your hands back. You can keep your hands in front of you, beside you, or behind you the whole time until one day you can sit down between your heels. If you can sit between your feet today with your knees on the floor and you're not in any pain, that might take a while, put your hands on your feet Bend your right elbow down, left elbow down, drop your head back, head to floor, tuck your chin in, back shoulders on the floor, arms over your head, grab your elbows each other and hold. Wherever you are is just perfect. You want a gentle stretch through your toes, ankles, knees, and hips, but never a point of pain. Change, put your hands on your feet, push yourself up, head up last, turn around, Savasana. Head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat. That posture um, is especially difficult, but also effective for, um, for folks like who've had a knee surgery, who are runners, or you know maybe you ski, or you play basketball or soccer, anything involving lower body joints. You might not be able to go very far into that posture, but it's really good for slowly working through tightness, any scar tissue, stuff like that. So a little bit goes a long way. Second set, legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Second set, if first set was rough, try opening your knees a little bit wider. Option to have your hands in front of you, beside you, or slowly behind you, one day sitting down between the heels. Doesn't have to be today or tomorrow. If you can sit between your heels, put your palms on your soles, right elbow down, left elbow down, drop your head back, head to floor, tuck your chin in, neck, shoulders on the floor, arms over your head, grab your elbows each other. If that's all gravy, walk your knees back together, but knees never come off the floor. Good, change. Put your hands on your feet, push yourself up, 
head up last, turn around, Savasana. As you release out of the posture, you release the tourniquet effect on the lower body, fresh blood flows through your toes, ankles, knees, and hips. You are always welcome to skip sit-ups by rolling off to the side. Otherwise, legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Wonderful, come to the back of your mat, half tortoise, Ardha Karmasana. Sit knees, feet together, hips on your heels, arms overhead, palms together, cross your thumbs, stretch up, and go down. Option to put one or both hands on the floor and walk yourself in, or go down, arms of your ears, forehead to floor, little fingers to floor. Reach your arms forward, sink your hips down, stretch, stretch, stretch. Change. You can put your hands on the floor and push yourself up or come up arms with ears. Nice. Arms down, turn around, savasana. Try to hop quickly into savasana so your back has a little bit of time to stretch out. When you lie down on this hard, flat surface, when you lie on your mat, the whole body lengthens and realigns. Legs together, arms over your head, biceps with your ears, heels to the floor, sit up. Second set, knees, feet together, hips on your heels, maybe heels together, arms overhead, palms together, stretch up and go down. Can you touch your forehead to the floor before your little fingers? Takes a while. Forehead to floor, little fingers to floor, reach your arms forward, sink your hips down, re-energize, reorganize, revitalize. Change, come on up, squeeze your feet, hands and knees together. Good, arms down, turn around, savasana. If your back is bothering you, remember to roll off to the side and skip sit-ups. Otherwise, legs together, flex your feet, squeeze your seat, sit up. Arms with your ears. <laughs> Wonderful, come to the top of your back, camel hustrasana, I'm showing you again from the side. Stand on your knees, six inches between your knees and your feet. Place your hands at your waistband spine, thumbs outside, fingers down to the floor. Squeeze your butt, push your hips forward, keep your eyes open and look hot. When you're ready, lift your nose, lift your chin, and one day let your head go back all the way. Option to stay here with your hands on your back or keep your hands on your back and go back halfway, freeze in the middle. Option to stay here, or when you're ready, right hand down, grab your right heel, left hand down, grab your left heel, thumbs outside, fingers inside, full palm grip on your heels. If you can't grab your heels just yet, or if you have to lean back a lot to grab your heels, keep your hands on your back. It's better support for your spine. Change, put your hands on your back first, push yourself up without twisting, head up last, turn around, shavasana. Three, two, one, take a breath. Feel your heart beating. Go again. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Good. So if you feel like dizzy or lightheaded or nauseous in that posture, it's just a central nervous system response to opening the front of the body. You can do second set. If first set bothered your knees, roll up your mat a little bit. So there's extra padding under your knees. Open your knees wider, eight to 10 inches between your knees, six inches between your feet. Put your hands on your lower back and maybe second set, try to bring elbows closer together behind you. If you had to come out early first set or you felt like super nauseous afterwards, just do a little bit less. Do the posture, but just go slower. When you're ready, look up. Lift your nose and chin, one day head drops back. This might be enough of a heart opener for today. You can stay here, or when you're ready, go back halfway, and eventually you're in the future, right hand down, grab your right heel, left hand down, grab your left heel. Wherever you are is just perfect. You wanna stretch through the front of the body in compression to the spine, that's all. Good, change, put your hands on your back, push yourself up, Head up last, turn around, savasana. Head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat. Legs together, arms over your head, flex your feet, squeeze your seat, sit up. <laughs> Elbows to floor, forehead to knees. So in camel pose, we did a back bend and we made the hump of a camel with our body. And the next posture, rabbit pose, we're gonna round our spine like a bunny. So we're going to make this shape with our back. We're going to round rather than open. Okay, I'll put this here. 
rabbit pose, sasangasana. Sit knees, feet together, hips on your heels, make L's with your hands, flick little bunny ears, and grab your heels from the outside, thumbs outside, fingers inside, full palm grip on your heels, stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest, and go down. Now, if you have a long torso and short arms like I do, at the top, you might not be able to grab your heels. Chin to chest, bring your forehead to knees, top of head to floor, and now reach back and grab your heels, full palm grip on your heels up to the arches, pull on your feet, don't lose the grip, and lift your hips up. If there's a gap between your knees and head, you can walk your knees up one by one, but head stays in place. You want about 30% body weight on your neck and head. So if your feet are coming off the floor or your grip is sliding, ease up a little bit, make sure you're not crunching into your neck. Good, change, hips down, slowly uncurl. Vertebra by vertebra, disc by disc, head up last, turn around, savasana, head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Good, middle of your mat, second set, let's hop to it, rabbit, knees, feet together, hips on your heels, grab your heels from the outside, stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest and go down. Round your spine like a bunny rabbit. Forehead to knees automatically drop with head to floor. Pull on your heels, don't lose the grip. Lift your hips up. If there's a gap between knees and head, you can walk your knees up one by one, but head stays in place. Squeeze your heels together. Squeeze your heels together. Squeeze your heels together. Sometimes you have to hear things a few times to internalize it. So if nobody's told you this yet today, you are loved. You are loved. You are so loved. Good, change hips down, slowly uncurl. Vertebra by vertebra, disc by disc, head up last, turn around, savasana. I firmly believe the message of this class of yoga is um, self-realization, self-actualization, right? The message of this class is love. Um, the means is yoga, we're practicing yoga, and the like technique is discipline. If you enter into your yoga practice with a little bit of discipline, not in like Catholic school discipline, more like dojo discipline, you enter into your yoga practice with a little bit of discipline, you will come out more loving towards yourself and others. That is the goal. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. So the postures are just a tool. The ultimate goal is you loving yourself, self-actualization. One set of head to knee with stretching, right leg out, left leg in, two legs make an L, as in love. Inhale your arms over your head, stretch up. Exhale, turn to your right, tuck your chin to your chest, go down, bend your right leg. Interlock your 10 fingers up to the webbing under the ball of your foot. Flex your toes back to stretch your Achilles and calf. Bend your elbows down to open shoulder blade scapula. Suck your stomach in to compress the abdominal wall. Bring your left elbow down, left shoulder down. So two shoulders in line. Change, arms up, left leg out, right leg in, stretch up. Turn to your left, tuck your chin to your chest, go down, bend your left leg if you want to, touch knee and head together. If it's easy to touch your forehead and knee together with a bent leg, keep going. See if you can straighten your leg or even lock your leg. One day elbows to caps, one day elbows to floor. Right elbow down, right shoulder down, roll on to the right. Good, change. Arms up, both legs out in front of you. That was the last rounded spine posture. Option to stay here if you're skipping sit-ups. Otherwise, lay down, let your spine reset and sit up. For Paschimottanasana stretching, I'm gonna show you from the side. Keep in mind, this is a different posture. Bend your knees, hook onto your big toes with your middle and index fingers, thumbs on top, and scoot your butt back, right, left, right, left, 10 to 15 times. Now keep in mind, we just did a bunch of rounded spine postures. So rather than rounding our spine like a bunny, we're gonna arch our spine, stretch the spine like a human, right? So keep your back flat, knees, toes, heels touch. Knees can stay bent if it helps you fold forward with a flat back. Eventually legs straight, eventually legs lock, and start to pull, stomach to thighs pull, chest and knees stretch. One day toes and head touch. Good, change. Stay seated for spine twists. Take a moment, identify left, identify right. Don't mix them up. Remember, I'm not mirroring you. Bend your left leg on the floor. Touch your right heel to your left knee corner. Right arm close behind you. Left arm up and over. Grab your left knee with your left hand. Hand, heel, and knee all touch. Inhale, stretch off, stomach in. Exhale, look over right shoulder twist. So you can keep your right hand behind you or grab your left thigh with your right hand mat for the half bind. Inhale, stretch up, stomach in. Exhale, look over your right shoulder twist, twist, twist. Good, change, unwind, swap out your legs. I'm gonna show you from the side, bend right leg to floor, touch left heel to right knee. You're also welcome to keep your right leg straight out in front of you. Left arm close behind you, right arm up. 
and over. Grab your right knee with your right hand, hand, heel, and knee touch. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, look over your left shoulder, twist. Evenly distribute your body weight on both sit bones. If you can balance here, lift your left hand off the floor, wrap it around you for a half bind. Keep spine straight, chest up, rib cage open. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist, twist, twist. Good. Change, unwind, turn around, savasana. So we started class with a couple sun salutes to warm up the body. And then from there, we did what's called 26 and two yoga, 26 postures, two breathing exercises. We begin 26 and two yoga with a breathing exercise and we end full circle with a breathing exercise. So we always start and finish focusing on lung health. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Good. Come to the middle of your mat. So in a lot of ancient civilizations and ancient languages, breath has a dual meaning, right? So in Greek, pneuma means breath, but it also means spirit. In Hebrew, ruach means breath, but it also means spirit. And in Sanskrit, right, in yoga terms, um, prana means breath, but it also means spirit. So all of these ancient traditions had this idea that your breath was maybe a little bit more than your breath. So that's what we do when we do pranayama, breathing exercises, right? Focusing, sure, on lung health, but also on the spirit of our health, of our self-realization, self-love. You're gonna sit knees, feet together, hips on your heels, hands on your thighs. If it hurts to sit on your feet, don't do it. Sit on your butt crisscross applesauce, try to sit on your feet next time. You're gonna exhale through your mouth. As you exhale through your mouth, you're gonna pull your stomach in. As the stomach relaxes, your lungs will automatically take in air. The exhale is quite audible. The inhale is very subtle. The less you think, the easier it becomes like many things in life. Like your lips swallow a couple times, sit up nice and tall, concentrate, meditate. Don't forget to have fun. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Lick your lips, swallow a couple times, sit up tall, fingers together, arms straight, shoulders down. Away we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Good for you. Honor yourself. Give yourself a hug. High five, pat on the back, turn around, final savasana. Close your eyes, open your arms and legs. If you need to leave, I totally understand. If you have time, make time, final savasana. Close your eyes, open your arms and legs. And take a nice, luxurious breath. The kind of breath that takes your full focus kind of breath that you feel from the crown of your head all the way down to your toes. The kind of breath that says, this is where I'm meant to be, right here, right now, in the present moment. And this breath, in this body, with these people, albeit virtual, in this moment, in this breath, in this body, in this unique space and time. Take a slow inhale through your nose. Slow exhale through your nose. You are so very alive. 